Hello, what's ever left of the wood? That needs a little clean up in here. There's Puna. She's all finished up. I close everything up and I make sure she cools slowly by mucking it up with sand clay mixture. Kiln unbricked. And the first impressions are very good. My glazes are melted and created a lot of glass, the ash. I'm very happy and I got that buttery kind of look on many of the pieces. It's great. I got a nice red vase too. And so I'm, I'm happy with this and I want the it was pretty warm yet, so the, I'm uh, glad the cone 10 uh, up to a little bit of 11 went down at the bottom, but the top was a little cool, but the glazes are well melted, so we had it going for two, three hours after nine, so that was great. So I'm very happy we're unloading. <laughs> We just uh, emptied the kiln. Super happy with some of the things that happened. This is a darker clay and it did come out well. The glaze contrasts with the dark clay and the ash just created a lot of glass. Interacted with the rutile based glaze and the loose well, didn't warp in the kiln, it was warped before, so it's great. These are shinier, and yet some of the texture show through it. Some of the clay was left bare, and it looks, it looks great, and white slips and white glazes. And this is my uh, Ori Bay glaze. Looks like it's got some uh, red tinges there. So I, I'm happy with the finish. Little bowls turned out glassy, which I, I'm very happy with. And yet I had some uh, ni nice flashing on my slip. I didn't mind that. Uh, this, this one got a could touch of ash there, it was closer to the flu. Yeah, look at these tones, they're just interesting. Somebody's going to have a nice sized pitcher to enjoy. Reds, fall colors, and yeah, very, very, very happy with some of these. My cups have a lot of ash runs and these nice dragon eyes. And some of the runs are dry, some of the runs are glassy, which I'm very happy with. They even uh, are cooling down because uh, I had a pool of crystals here. So the cooling down phase of the kiln was just fantastic. So what do, what do you think there, Clayton? Hey, you, uh, which one are you taking home? Well, I think we're going to have to go with this one this time. Oh! Uh, do you want the preliminary sort of uh, grinding done? And <laughs> no, I think I'll do that on my own. Yeah. 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 All right. It's got the fells bar and ash glaze that interacted with the uh, rutile in the rust glaze. So I like this ash color of glaze here. It's kind of uh, more of a dark greens. And the rutile interacted created golds. 
nice gold fleck. That happens with rutile and the blue happens with rutile. So, uh, so there's a lot of interest there. Take it home and maybe okay. you'll see more. Bear clay, slip, and glaze, the three interacting. So uh, that, that's in my decoration scheme. The little fells bar buttons have just come out just wonderfully. There's even names for the different kinds of buttons and how they come out, protruding or flat or... You have to really, you really could study that one. But that's unusual. It's gold crystals, that's unusual. Out in the sun here, it's fantastic. There's a crack in there, right here. This one, no, this one doesn't have a crack. Just a crack in here that I left when I built it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So, uh, I think it'll hold water. No, no, I see daylight here. <laughs> the only thing is you can fill these cracks with gold, that's what they do. Uh -huh. uh, but, uh, this is pretty nice too, I like this. I'll go get uh, some kind of uh, flowery weed and then we can see what, what it'll look like. Little Indian tobacco in there would look pretty nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> take it home and put just one, one plant in there. Admire the life of the plant and how it works. With it. Yeah, the earthy, the firing was a good success. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I think uh, I, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I can create the surfaces that I want. I'm very happy. Surfaces and I'm trying to invent textures. All I did is I cut that clay and let, let the cut. best subtlety in background. No, that's exactly what... Uh, that, that's little Tower of Pisa there. Uh, <laughs> he needs to be leveled off. It kind of bothers me there, bending to the side like that, but 